I had the pleasure of seeing Pinocchio when I was six years old, and I was knocked over by it. And I thought, that's a place I want to work. Bernie Mattinson's involvement in Once Upon a Studio was not only right, it was necessary because he was our link with the Disney legacy. He started here in 1953. Gee, that's a long time ago. <laughs> oh, bother. <laughs> I started uh, out of high school working as a male boy and uh, uh, eventually worked my way up. His mom dropped him off at the gate with his portfolio, and he just wanted to knock on the door and say, hire me, and they ended up hiring him. Yeah, I met, I met Walt uh, probably the second or third day. I was on the elevator, and he uh, stepped in, and <laughs> I said, good morning, Mr. Disney, you know? And he actually did say to me, he turned around and he says, it's, it's Walt, son. <laughs> Bernie Mattinson was at Disney Animation longer than Walt Disney was alive. He was here for almost 70 years. He was the longest Disney employee ever. Not just Disney Animation, the entire Walt Disney Company. Gonna keep going? As long as I'm having fun, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've always found that through all of those pictures I've worked on, if you're having fun working on it, it'll come across. He's contributed to so many animations throughout his life. And he knew all the ins and outs of the films that we grew up loving. It seems like unimaginable that someone has that kind of experience. An assistant animator, an in-betweener, a director, a storyboard artist, a producer. Oh my God, he did everything at the studio and did it beautifully. You know what, what's the fun part of it? Is really, is getting into that world when you're sitting down and taking a little stick for your character and starting to think what his world is like and where he's going and what he's gonna do. That's the main thing, it's, it's, it's about characters. Here's a man who's really been there, done that, but he was still so humble and so kind. And to be able to sh listen to his stories and hear his perspective and how much he loved this project. He just, he was so proud to be part of this thing. I don't think there's any way we could have made the film without having honored Bernie in it. If these walls could talk.